You are watching Lunar Harpoon! Curtis, anything good? I'm gonna try, try and grab a boo and a black manta. It's a pretty good price on that. Which ones? This guy. It's 13 over at Entertain Mart, so a 10 spot here ain't bad. Of course, we just complete the set there. Shop around. Nothing's gonna be lost to me anytime soon. Dean from our, uh, our headliner for uh, our, my uh, room tour to see that they have the uh, big, uh, big Bebop and Rocksteady here. It looks like they actually have all the original turtles as well. So the problem is, it looks like uh, Michelangelo is missing an arm here. So kind of the ravages of being the party dude in the group. There's always some consequences, huh? Ask about this action figure like we don't get it. Like I saw on your sign that you have a limited edition action figure. I'd like to buy it. Yeah. Where is it? Did you sell out? Yeah. What was the story of the Ecto One? It has been open, but it's still plastic. Stickers are unapplied, all in white. Uh, not too worried about it. Go one fifty. That price is too high. Thank you. Oh, like a real Ghostbusters figure. That's right. Has all the, it's all 100% complete. Still has the instructions and everything. Mm hmm. No 
Cocoa prices? It's one and a half. Eleven ninety nine. It's got the like the second and Charles labels. What is this place? funny we're seeing a lot of vendors we've seen at other cons you can tell by the merch that they have and how they present it <laughs> these guys were directly next to the door at Starfest we bought a couple of things from them there you got to do quite a bit of looking to, to find what you're looking for here because they just got piles and piles of stuff see anything good Gobo? Yeah, there's a couple of things it seems like everything here is really cheap yeah like price wise like but yeah, like you said, it's a bit of no rhyme or reason, which is like, what I don't get is like, they have to clean up and like put all their stuff back, like, you know, in their bins and stuff after they go to the lines. But like, then they just like come back and just swallow it out again. Yeah. Because like there's no rhyme or reason. It's also got the Urban Legends box set back here, which I love this Punisher's facial expression. Yeah, that's the best Punisher I've seen. Yeah, right? Well, that's not we'll a bad price on that box set, I'd yeah, say. Walgreens has got a new Punisher coming out. We'll see how that goes. What's up, Parpooners? It's your boy Gobo. I'm here with Arthur Sudan, the zombie king from Marvel Zombies. Arthur, how are you doing today, Thanks. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much. For yeah, and I've seen uh, we've seen him here almost every year, every single event of Comic Con. Yeah, it's an incredible artist. So, uh, do you have any new pieces for us this year? This year, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is my latest series for Marvel Comics. It's me and George Romero. Oh wow! So it's uh, called Green. Hey, hey, called Empire of the Dead, and it's actually already got signed for TV. It's gonna, it got picked up by Demers. So it's gonna be a TV series. Wow. Oh. Empire of the Dead. Empire of the Dead. So we'll keep an eye out. So this came out probably about six months ago. The series started about six or eight months ago. And issue one with my covers on already going for over a thousand dollars. No kidding. Yeah. I got a little... The other one is going for a thousand cents. So I like that. I so, think the variant covers for me. So the variants are a little, little bit of a problem for you. That's awesome. Well, not for me, but to whoever bought them. So what's what's your favorite part about doing these conventions? Oh, for sure, my favorite part of doing the conventions is uh, I get to meet the fans that buy the artwork and get to hear what they like and what they don't like. Because uh, when you're working in the comic business, you basically lock your stuff away in solitary confinement, and you work with the publishers. And you know, the, the reason we really do it. You heard it here, Lunar Harpoons, Arthur Sudam, the Zombie King, wonderful man, wonderful artist. Come down, check out his stuff. Also check out Empire of the Dead, it's his new comic series. And then, hey, we'll get a TV show at some point as well. All right, Arthur. All right, man, good to meet you guys. Thank you so much, man. Say Gobo, man, ain't go gonna be no pops of this kind. So bad. You was dead wrong. Like 80% of my videos are gonna be pops. Yeah, I don't know why you'd say such a thing. Mm -hmm. More pops, more pops, more pops. I don't need any of them. Well, let's take a look. Oh, these horrors. Yeah. They're always really top heavy. 
Yeah. How much would you have to have for the state? 50. 50? I'll have to take on that one, man. Thank you. Take this, you dirty old high prices. You got me. Yeah. I think so. Can I come back there? Huh? Can I come back there? This is right up our rally alley right here. Oh, there it is. Blanther one hundo. That's what they want. Oh, they got the all the noobs up here, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's what uh, these are. Who we, we have to blame for Walmart being completely dry? Or oh, they pre-ordered them? That's probably what they did. Discount toy bin, this is what we like to see. Left for Spider-Man. a rhino. This is the price tag on what's the sign say? Are they just what they're lifting at? Price as marked. Yeah, is that really <laughs> yeah. Is that well, not to be smashed up in a bin. Yeah, yeah. The Hydro Man. I had that Hydro Man. Lying to everybody. The spirit is what everything wants. Stay dry. Huh. If you like anthropomorphic dinosaurs, $7 still smash it up. Robert Cop, let's see if he talks stuff. No, well, he still works. Oh, DC figures. There's Leader Hulk. Oh, really good shape too. There's the the leader from Hulk, float, floating around down there somewhere. This is terrific. That's what the ladies call me. Ha <laughs> ha. I love this. Ken it's Const Constable Zuvio. Constable Zuvio, the character that was definitely in Star Wars. Right? Man, he like wasn't even in um, the deleted scenes. Firewall. Two bucks. That's, that's, There's that's, like a tiny point in that flashback, that Ray flashback, where, where he you, shows up, where you can see him. see him. Yeah. Say, it's like. It's not like we're com like like create complaining of the non-appearing characters in Star Wars pre preceding this one, you know. Like there's just so many. Oh, what's that Thor? I'm pull that out. Oh man, that's he's wearing like a full body thong. Yeah, look at him. Hmm. Ooh. That is interesting. Who's Toy Biz Thor. Ninety-seven. Earth's Mightiest Heroes Collector Edition. Mm. 15. Come on, discount then. <laughs> oh, there's a spider force down here. Oh. Good God. Transforming insect armor. Man, I feel like you're just destroying this merch by looking through it. I feel like I'm probably the 20th person to do that. Merch is destroyed. Savage Lands, if that was a Marvel Legend, I'd be it. There is a Savage Lands box set. Mickey Rival. Poor DC figures. Always tossed to the side. No. Alien Resurrection Aqua Alien. See, kind of. They always got to do this, man. It's like, the aliens were just regular aliens that swam in this movie. They didn't, 
become different at all. So. Now I got half off trades on this bookshelf. <laughs> Maybe the plus and figures are half off as well. We'll have to see. I'm just looking for anything that catches my eye, really. When I see these half off trades, I end up looking forever, just kind of just like mulling over whether I want to buy them or not. Usually I'll just pick up any copies of like just characters I like if they're half off. Uh, usually though, I have a lot of X Men. Ultimate stuff is always half price. For Wolverines, might be alright. We'll take a look at those again. Alright, here we got a couple of key issues. We'll try and see if we can make a deal. They're pretty priced pretty well as is. All their Grady's are, are the ones that are marked way the hell up. Homeboy here is going to give us a good deal though. pick him up a cool print that was as specific as he got so we're gonna check out artist alley over here and see if I can find something neat hard on metal yes okay so is it like etched in there or is it like no, printed heat supplication. heat supplication that's awesome man these are way cool thank you excellent Pretty weird, but alright. 